Hey guys, it's Rashcroft with Political Simulators Unite. Today we are looking at one of my favorite games. Uh, this is an older game. It was made back in 1992. It's called Floor 13. It's on DOS. Uh, and uh, you can play it using DOSBox. Uh, and the game files are all over the place uh, on the internet. Just get one of those, go to the, one of those uh, abandoned wear sites and you can find it there. Uh, no problem. Uh, DOSBox, I'll also, to get that going, I'll include a link uh, in the description to a solid tutorial video uh, that'll help you guys out with that. But here's the setting of the game. Uh, you are the new director general of a um, unknown British security agency. Uh, it's like above MI6, above MI5, totally secret. Uh, and so the whole point of this game is to uh, take action on different crises as they present themselves, in some cases to try to prevent them from becoming worse. And the whole idea is to keep the Prime Minister, who you are accountable to, to keep him in office and to keep the public support behind him. So we're just filling out the paperwork now uh, in terms of uh, getting the game going. As you can see, we're moving that forward. So we've got uh, the different uh, departments within your uh, organization. And as you can see here, surveillance, removal, pursuit, heavy assault, disinformation, interrogation, search, and infiltration. And we're going to be utilizing all of those uh, to great effect. But uh, just wanted to show you guys a little, uh, you know, some of this game because I find it to be one of the most rewarding uh, and most interesting games uh, from the whole DOS era. So uh, this is our first day. It's New Year's Day, as you can see. There's a new report. So the entire game takes place between your office, the Prime Minister's office, uh, which you'll go to from time to time, either to get a little pat on the back or to get chewed out. Uh, or, of course, the game can end um, with you flying out a window, <laughs> which uh, hopefully we won't see that here too soon. So let's keep, uh, let's get this thing going. All right, so we're going to enter our office. We're going to read our reports. And so here's the opening uh, uh, letter we have to us. Uh, Dear DG, Director General, may I welcome you on behalf of my colleagues to your department. Although not the most prestigious of ministries, we hope you will find enough to challenge you here. Uh, please settle into your office and get to know the various departments. And this is from some person who is the Comptroller of Agriculture and Fisheries, um, which is kind of the front for what the office you're working for. All right, let's go. Uh, well, apparently that's all we have for us at the moment. I usually thought there's usually there's more, perhaps not. So let's get an idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, reports that's going to be changing as the days progress. As you walk into the office, you're going to get a number of reports, which we'll see that in the future. Looking at the polls, this is very important, uh, very simplistic. 51% for us, 49% for them, uh, and we have a two-point lead target date in 20 days. So there's going to be like a that's your reevaluate reevaluation date is that 20-day uh, period so you want to have uh, at least a lead um, at that point and it's all uh, the the lead is determined by the amount of political damage that the government receives which your job is to basically squash any potential political damage whether it be through controversial story or resignation uh, of a prominent minister so on and so forth but uh, we're going to look at the archives here. Security Intercept, a government spokesperson, has denied having any prior knowledge with respect to the death of Mr. Richard Branson, whose body was found at the bottom of the Canary Wharf in Docklands. Witnesses say Mr. Branson was trying to fly but failed when seen departing from his 13th floor office window. The unattributable source has repeatedly stated that the government never has and never will run any sort of quasi-secret police force in Britain. 
A little fun fact about the game here, Richard Branson, obviously the uh, founder, chairman, CEO, whatever he is, of Virgin, uh, the company, a famous British company, a conglomerate. Uh, Virgin actually produced this game. Uh, they were the publishers on this game. So just a fun little homage, if you will, to uh, Mr. Branson there. Okay. And we're going to leave the desk. We've taken care of everything we can at this point. And we don't need to go to departments. There's nothing going on in them. Let's go to the next day. Ah, here we are at number 10 Downing Street. The Prime Minister says, you're the new DG. Oh, dear. Well, don't come back here unless I ask you and use the back entrance. And don't draw attention to yourself unless you enjoy flying. I want to see results in three weeks. So that's what we got. Three weeks to make sure that... Uh, the government's not too terribly damaged while we're here. All right, so now our first full day, read uh, reports. Okay, so here's the uh, an article that we clipped from the Times. Rear Admiral Sir Leopold Fox was found last night hanging by a black rope under Black Fire Friars Bridge. The police are assuming suicide until evidence to the contrary appears, but friends and relatives have expressed shock at the news. Political damage is major. Right out of the gate, we got a big blow hit to us. Uh, let's see the next report. Okay, so here we're given a little bit of a, de a little detail on uh, the uh, Sir Leopold Fox. Uh, we have his address, occupation, and prominence uh, distinguished. This will have an impact on how you approach different suspects um, and uh, how they relate to the issues. Uh, synopsis, found dead under bridge. And then, of course, we've got a few interesting things here, um, and we're going to go ahead and read the next report. So then we're given a report on the location of where he was found. And of course, he was found hanging from Blackfriars Bridge. And, okay, the next report is another uh, article from the Telegraph. The long-awaited launch of Britain's first manned space rocket, Maggie 1, has not been delayed. Mission controller Professor James White has predicted a successful launch, admitting that this is my crowning achievement. All right, so there's the professor. We have his address. He's a scientist, notable on prominence, mission controller. Um, okay, and he is a known government supporter. Now, this I have no more reports for today. So, and I have no other suspects. Now, I, I, I don't know if it's right to say so much that this person is a suspect, but it's somebody that uh, they want me to keep a close eye on. So, I mean, I, I suppose that's accurate. Uh, so what we're going to do is we just assigned a surveillance unit uh, to his home. So they're going to be watching. They're going to be staked out there. We're going to be assigning a pursuit team. And as you can see, it's going to report all subsequent movements. And then, th this is kind of just my standard procedure, what I do here. And then I also will assign a, if, again, this is done if the resources are there for it. Um, I'm also going to assign um, a search team to his home. And one thing to keep in mind, I'm going to go back just to make sure you guys see this. Uh, if we go to search... We have two options, discrete or ransack. Discrete is, uh, you know, obviously it's not a ransacking of uh, the gentleman's place, but uh, it's more of just, it's more of a, uh, how should I put it? They're going in and looking around. They're not taking anything. Ransack means you go in, you tear up the place, and you take whatever is of value or of interest there. So, like, for instance, if there's a bomb there, uh, you're going to want to go in and ransack it because obviously you don't want people running around with bombs, <clears throat> which that can happen in this game. So I'm just going to start out with a discrete search, uh, and then you see the other options we have here uh, with interrogation, removals, that's assassination, heavy assault, disinformation, uh, and we'll get into that uh, as the game progresses. So where we are right now, 
we've dealt with this report, uh, which was in relation to uh, Britain's manned uh, rocket. So now we've got, going back to the first case, the uh, Blackfriars Bridge. This is where the, uh, the knight was uh, found uh, hanging. So we're going to go ahead and do a search there. We're going to do discreet. Although, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do ransack because I don't think it makes any point. If there is something of value there, we're going to want to take it back with us. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and then we're going to go back to Sir Leopold Fox. This is the dead guy. Now, a couple things here, potential security risk. This is using, you know, 1990 terms, so bear with me. It says possibly bisexual. So that could be classified by the security services as a security risk. So we're going to go ahead and give orders. Now, I the only thing I could think of that, because obviously this guy's not moving around, so let's stake out his house, and we're going to search his house just to see what potentially could be there. Now, a lot of this stuff you're going to be doing in the dark. Just That's kind of how the cases are presented. Um, so we'll just have to see how things progress. So we're going to go ahead and leave our desk. I think we've covered everything at this point. We're going to go to the next day. And as we can see, it's the 4th. There's a new report for us. And telephone message. Uh, let's see. You know that Sir Leopold Fox who asked us to keep our mince pies on. Well, Sharon down at record says the geezers snuffed it. This is a joke or something. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll put that there. But PM will see us tomorrow morning. That's either really good or really bad. Let's read our reports. Okay, so... This is uh, in the Telegraph. The astronauts have completed their first, excuse me, their final medical check for tomorrow's countdown. Some are saying that this is Britain's proudest moment. The eight-day mission should end with a capsule drop into the Indian Ocean. That was the only report we had. Now keep in mind, we're, we've already got the head of that uh, program, the British Space Program. Uh, we've got him under surveillance. You can see the poles here. Now, they took a big hit after the uh, Sir Fox uh, committed suicide, supposedly. Um, and then we got a little bit of bump from that last news report. But if I, it, it, based on what I've seen with this game, if you get good news for no, without you doing anything, that usually means there's going to be dramatically negative news if you don't do anything. So that's why I've got everybody under surveillance at this point. And we're going to go ahead and go to the next day. Okay, and the PM says, nice to see some good news in the papers. Of course, I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. Perhaps, me, perhaps we may arrange a knighthood. Okay, a couple of new reports. January 5th. Let's read those. Okay, so we did the ransack search at Blackfire's Friars Bridge, uh, and items taken was the letters P2 inscribed in the brickwork. Okay. A telephone tap. This is to Professor James White, and then rear we have him under surveillance. The receiver says, Do I feel embarrassed? This is the worst day of my life. We're all living a damn lie. Where are the crew in a safe place? We use a stand-in for voice records. I hope we can trust them. Okay, so there's a major indication something's not right there. Now, we've already issued the search uh, on James White's location, uh, on his home, I should say, and we don't have any more information, and we've got everything covered, so let's go ahead as, as best we can. So let's just go ahead and go to leave reports. We're going to go next day couple new reports entering the office and let's read those telephone tap this is uh, again uh, professor james white uh, receiver i can't go through with this i can't pretend they're up there when they aren't i can't see all my work as a sham just relax we'll talk about this some other time Jeez, so major stuff going on here all right and to Mr. White, I'm assuming, Dear James, as you know, I have been deeply interested in the idea of a British rocket. However, I do not feel that we have the finances for a manned mission of the sort suggested. Thus, I must withdraw the offer of funding made to you earlier. 
Okay, that's sign that's listed as being from the Department of Science and Education. Okay, so that's interesting. So is this project not actually funded? My goodness. Let's check the polls. No major change. Okay, so we're getting some info basically that this British uh, manned rocket operation is a total sham. But we need something to be, at least from what I'm thinking, we need something to be a little more actionable before we take any um, uh, action. <laughs> All right, so let's enter the office. And reading reports. John Kelly at the corner shop. Seen at 143 Fronigal Road, Mayfair. John Kelly. Okay, okay, so now we're getting some info. This is on the Admiral uh, who supposedly committed suicide. John Kelly, his occupation, he's an assistant, he has insignificant prominence, and he's deceased. He's connected to the Admiral. Or that's the, okay. That's interesting. So what I'm going to do here is, this guy's dead, so I'm going to go ahead and give orders of doing a discrete search at the guy's home. Can't do anything else, I don't believe, because he's dead. Okay. And let's move things forward. And the allusion to the fact that I could, my career could be ended at any moment with uh, being thrown out the window. That's kind of a warning. Let's read our reports. Oh. So, items observed at the home of John Kelly dead body, decapitated, no identification. Uh, now, I don't know if that is them, who's ever out there, if there's some kind of, you know, group behind this. I don't know if they're killing him as a means of trying to, you know, make the the uh, uh, trail run cold, if you will. A new report. Okay. Interesting. Now, I must have really blown it here because uh, you'll get a notice like this after a, a situation or case, whatever you like, um, when it's run its course. So, all references, it says for security reasons, all references to the following will be removed from our current records. So, everything in relation to that uh, rear admiral um, is now gone all right so not much th not much going on with this guy we know there's some sketchy stuff going on um i'm yeah check the polls 50 50 a couple new reports probably get a new case here Okay, CIA report, January 10th, Bank of England voice monitor, activated by keyword Colombian. I hear the Colombians have been stripping ICCB to bits. Sir Angus's reputation is really going to be on the line. This is received via Soviet spy satellite on wavelength media, or wavelength code Medina. Interesting. Okay, so this puts this guy on our radar, Sir Angus Parnell. He's a civil servant, he's distinguished, and he's the governor of the Bank of England. Very prominent guy. Uh, suspected affiliation to the Monday Club. That's a conservative grouping of MPs. Um, and suspect is an government supporter. So, the issue we're dealing with here is we don't want this guy to be doing something uh, shady. If he is doing something shady, uh, we want to find a way to deal with it. Okay, so I've did the three surveillance pursuit and search. And based on the previous report, stripping ICC to bits. Hmm. 
All right, I don't, I, I probably should know what that is, but I don't. All right, so now we've got a new thing here, and I'll kind of go back to indicate what I'm talking about. Uh, we have a section for groups. Now, because the suspect is mentioned as being a member of the Monday Club, we now have a file on the Monday Club. You can see their size of 35, their power is strong, orientation is pro-government. Um, and suspected members so we're gonna go ahead and we have the ability to infiltrate that group now given the size of it with it only being 35 people I'm not gonna push it. I'm gonna start off with one guy uh, to infiltrate uh, there's no need to do any disinformation because they are supporters of the government so let's not go nuts um, we just need to find out what's going on let's go to the next day and we got some more reports Uh-oh, PM is in a fit. Uh, I'm afraid you're going to get roasted tomorrow morning. So something probably happened. Well, something definitely happened. Okay, the amazing rele revelation by Professor James White that the launch of the Matty 1 was a fake has deeply upset the government as accusations of money-wasting and sham hit home. We have made a somewhat cynical decision, admitted a spokesman. Well, I blew it there. Um, I don't, I just didn't see exactly what could have been done. Uh, I suppose I could have just hauled him in, but he's, he's notable prominence. It would have caused some major blowback. Then we're getting a report on the infiltration of the Monday Club. All signs agents penetrated, number of agents successfully penetrated one. Um, let's go to the next report. So now the group is listed as being infiltrated. And one thing, and I'm going to go back to giving orders, but I do want to go to the departments because I, I find that this provides a little extra level of detail that's uh, that's good to know. So we've got an infiltration. This is the infiltration department. We can see operations. And we can see here the target group, the Monday Club. We have one agent in, and it's classified under low-level infiltration. Now, what I'm going to do is up it to another agent. I don't want to push it. I don't know if there could be any blowback from it or not, um, but I definitely don't want to, you know, go too far. Okay, so, oh, dang it. Probably should have hang tight. Prime Minister says your job is to keep the public from knowing about your cock-ups, otherwise, from our cock-ups, otherwise the great unwashed may think you're incompetent. We're incompetent. Get the picture. I want to sort it out. All right, let's look at our reports here. Read reports. To the shredder. Okay, so James White. So that's now taken away from us. The Monday Club. we got two agents in there. And again, we haven't got any reports on our surveillance teams, from our surveillance teams or anything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and add another agent. Sign the order. Let's just confirm. Okay, yeah, we've got him surveil surveilled. He's being tailed and he has, his address is marked for search. All right, just wanted to make sure. So yeah, really blew it with those those two. Now I'm uh, I'm sure. Here's the thing about this game: it is randomized. So all these cases are they're coming at every time you start up a new game. It's coming at you from different angles. Not everything is exactly the same. Uh, the game is incredibly replayable, um, and uh, it's just I really enjoy it, as I'm sure you can tell. Let's go ahead and look at the office. And we're going to read the reports. Okay, financial markets were in a tumult yesterday as it was announced that the North Sea oil reserves would run out within two months. Mr. Lawrence Wilson, who compiled the figures for the Department of Energy, stated that Britain would become totally dependent on oil imports within the year. Okay, new report. So now, the guy who made the statement, he is a civil servant. His prominence is notable. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and hook them up with some surveillance and pursuits. And we're going to do a search. Now, I'm tempted. So 
See, we have this disinformation option, and I'm tempted to use it on this guy. This guy isn't a government supporter. I don't know. This may, this may blow back. But we'll see. Okay, Sir John Drummond, new issue. Sir John Drummond, Drummond has made no statements on behalf of the Department of Energy and has not replied to the critics who have stated that energy policy was too short-sighted. Okay, so our actual minister there, who is a member of the government, member of our party, I shouldn't say our party, the party of the Prime Minister, um, he hasn't made any comment on it. So I'm thinking, um, we're, we just made the smear on the uh, the civil servant. I'm wondering if that may kind of alleviate, we can just blame the civil servant on being an idiot or something and just you know say this isn't true. But we can't let this guy go without some kind of surveillance <laughs> and everything else, just to make sure, because you never know where these things are going to go. Next report. Okay, Sir Agnes Parnell. Uh, hey, amigo, you've seen the proof. We sure screwed ICCB. You're not going to look so good if this gets out, my friend. All those poor, hard-working investors. What are you saying? Maybe we can take a deal. Meet at the city branch of ICCB, 8 o'clock, January 17th. It's four days, my friend. I have no idea what. Hello? Okay. Sorry, guys. Kind of got lost in the uh, dialogue there. Um, so, my, uh, you know, we can assume this is the Colombians talking to Sir Angus Parnell about um, some kind of issue going on uh, with IC. Okay, so City Branch. So, what we got to do here is we're going to give orders. Heavy assault. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So now we can specify exactly when. So let's go back to the previous report. 8 o'clock, January 17th. Now, I didn't see the ability to set a date. 8 p.m. Let's do it on the hour. I don't want... Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's the 13th. So we'll do it in four days' time. Okay. We'll see what happens. Oh. Let's go back. I think I may have missed a report. just want to make sure. Okay. Additional penetration of the Monday Club. Fifteenth, so that was the fourteenth. So I think we gotta make a change. I just should have checked the date. It would have been much simpler. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do, go to locations, give orders. We're going to assault it twice. <laughs> oh, wrong night. Okay, so what? It's. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure I get this. Uh, see, polls. What is the day today? What is the day today? Goodness. <laughs> Go back. Okay, so it's the 15th. We did four days. Okay, cool. So we'll be fine. Oh, sorry, guys. Getting ahead of myself here. Go back to... Nope. Wrong one. Locations. Nope. There we go. Locations. Give orders. Heavy assault. 8 o'clock. I hate to do it on the hour, but I don't want to miss them either. Two days time. Maybe we can cancel the other one. Alright, let's look at our reports. Uh, we got a 
the search on the house. Okay. We come up with a receipt. Monday Club deposit account. Uh, as you can see, payments. Two point five million. No. Yeah, two point five million basically is the current balance. All right. Mr. Lawrence Wilson has been denying, denying recent stories about various animals being found in a hotel room last weekend. The Clifton Hotel claims three sheep and a llama were found in Mr. Wilson's room in a business stopover. Good lord. Ay, ay, ay. That we... Oh, that was the attack. Okay, okay. So that was the attack, but it didn't really do us any good. That was the that was the black propaganda against this guy. This is the this the the, uh, the guy who works for the Department of Energy who said we're gonna Britain's gonna run out of oil. <laughs> okay, so that was the attack. Oh my goodness, it didn't do anything. So um, <laughs> we'll leave that where it is. Um. <laughs> We've already got everything under control, I think. Let's go ahead and throw another agent here. Oh my goodness. Good old British tabloid press. Whew, man, way underwater here, guys. Now, I am going to try to see if it's possible to cancel the assault that's scheduled for the day after. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's just let's just keep it going. Okay. Next day. New reports. Mr. Lawrence Wilson. So we can see he's going to his job at Whitehall. He's going home. He leaves. And he met this guy, Ken Mills, head of Exaco Oil Company, obviously. Interesting. So now that he's on the radar... We're going to go ahead and do a search of his home. And we're going to put a pursuit team on him. We don't have any surveillance available to us at the moment. Okay, Telegraph. As the price of a barrel of oil tripled today on the spot market, Mr. Ken Mills, head of the large petrochemical multinational Exaco, defended price rises, which he insisted were due to the unstable Middle East situation. Okay, so he's making some uh, noise, and he's also meeting with the guy who just said we've run out of oil. Monday Club continuing the infiltration there. Suspects. This is where you got, you know, all the different suspects available to you. Now, I'm going to run through here and see if there's anybody we really don't need to be surveilling because I think this guy Ken Mills is probably more important um, all right let's pull the surveillance team off of this guy just because I'd rather have it on mr. Mills Okay. All right. I think we've covered our bases there. New reports. This is the 17th. The assault is due at 8 o'clock today. Okay. Search the search his house. This is a letter received by. Okay. John, thank you for your help with regards to the oil figures. I'm sure Exaco will profit heavily from false concern over oil reserves. And I will make sure you are well rewarded when the time is right. There you go. So there's our evidence now that uh, uh, the 
Well, no. Okay, wait a minute. Now we know that our minister was the guy who was bought off, not the civil servant. So the civil servant was put up to it. So, noting recent 10,000 pound deposit. Oh, so he was bought off. I see. I see. All right. So we got to do something here. And John Drummond, we got to do something with this guy. We can't. We can't bring him in for interrogation. Okay, I think this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to go back to suspects. He's even got a notable. Um, I'm going to bring this guy in for interrogation. It's going to possibly backfire on me. But we've got to try to put a wrench in the works here somewhere. We now have proof that everybody's being bought off by the uh, oil company head. And we got to see, hopefully we get uh, solid results for our assault here on the Colombians. PM will see us tomorrow morning. John Drummond, nothing of interest. Okay, so that's our surveillance report of uh, Mr. Parnell. Place attacked. Cordon off in case last night's attack are discovered. Okay. Well, shoot. Maybe we'll get it in the paper tomorrow, hopefully. Let's see the next day. Ha! <laughs> this is what happens when you start uh, screwing around too much. Prime Minister says, The police have been wondering whether I know anything about unexplained break-ins, abductions, and murders. You don't know anything about this, do you? Get serious or start flying lessons. Alright, new reports. John Drummond. Okay. Do, 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 do. I just wanted to thank you for your help. All right. Mr. Mills, we found nothing. Nothing. I am so disappointed. Huh. Well, I'm going to give it another day. Some new reports. Okay, Lawrence Wilson. Telephone message that claimed Mr. Lawrence Wilson was the subject of alien abduction has not convinced the police to stop inquiring into the unexplained disappearance. Great. Just great. So see, there's, you know, he's now been abducted. And he's under interrogation. Former employee interviewed about the recent fraud allegations made about International City and Commerce Bank claimed that the city knew about the problems the bank was facing for months. So here you have the interrogation report. This is the transcript of the interrogation going on. Currently the subject is receiving Procedure Zero interrogation, assuming the lightest level of motivation. Well, I do want to see this resolved, but I don't think it's going to happen immediately or anytime soon. So, with that, I'm going to leave the video here for the moment. But I do want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, I did, again, I just, like I said, I wanted to share this game with you guys. It was made back in 1992, so it's pretty old, but it's very unique. And I think in many ways it set the stage for a lot of the games that we see uh, now, uh, which are more just strictly simulation based, uh, you know, you get the real stupid ones uh, out there. I'm not going to name names, but uh, this one I think is really uh, intriguing, interesting. Uh, and the good news is, is that they actually are making a remake of this game. 
so hopefully that'll be getting off the ground here shortly. Um, and, and when I say remake, it's not just a bunch of new guys making uh, remaking this game. This is actually going to be re remade by uh, the gentleman who made the original. So um, if you like the flavor of this, you'll probably like the new one, I'm sure. Um, but again, you can get it uh, through DOSBox. Or you uh, and you also can download the file, the game file on any of the uh, different uh, abandoned where uh, sites out there. Anyways, uh, just tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, if you play through it, tell me what you think about it. Um, I could do a playthrough series for this; it'd be really cool. But um, and anyways, just want to put this out there. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching, and look forward to talking to you guys in the future.